Hey guys, uh, welcome to Unbiased Rugby. So, obviously the new Springbok coach uh, was announced today, Jacques Niemarba, but uh, you can see a little bit of writing on the wall there that not re he is the, obviously the head, uh, the head coach, but uh, he's not really going to be doing the day-to-day -day running uh, of the team and the strategy and things going forward. That's going to be part of the director of rugby. Uh, I think all of us had a, a real big feeling that Rossi Erasmus would have probably stayed on more... Uh, uh, more on board with the team, uh, with the success that he has had. And uh, so what they're basically saying is that, uh, uh, well, I'll just go through the, uh, the coaches at the moment. We've got Rossi Erasmus, who's going to be the director of rugby. Uh, Jacques Niewalber, who's the head coach. Uh, 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 Zondile Stick as assistant coach. Dean Davids as assistant coach. Felix Jones as assistant coach. And Don Heman as scrum consultant. So looking at that, uh, it's... it's Pretty good. The only uh, obviously David uh, Dion David's coming in uh, as the, a replacement assistant coach. I think he's more there. Uh, they were saying he was defensive coach, but I, more, uh, I would have said attack coach. But uh, with Jock Neal, of a skill at, at defence. Uh, Felix Jones is. I think he is the. What do they call it? The uh, European-based coaching consultant. So yeah, uh, that's. Uh, it's a pretty interesting kind of role. It just goes to show you uh, what it's like having all your players uh, based overseas. And it just makes a hell of a lot more sense to you that you have someone there that actually can do the transition, uh, but, uh, do the communication between what's happening in South Africa and with our players that are based overseas. So I think he's going to be end up watching a hell of a lot of games overseas, uh, seeing what's out there. It just goes to show that you know we've we've really uh, taken Europe as, as a serious place for where our players are playing at the moment, uh, and that we need to obviously be in not in control, but we need to know what's happening. And I think it's a I think it's a great way for uh, to stay in contact with Ivan, uh, Ochis Neyman, uh, Damon Delende, uh, Chisholm Colby. These are players that are all playing overseas. So yeah, that's uh, that's the coaching structure. So uh, just look here. Uh, it says yeah, Jacques will be responsible for the test match preparation and day-to-day -day team operations. But as the director of rugby, I'll be the team for the majority of the time and the coaches back with Jacques on the matches. <laughs> uh, Jacques, uh, Jacques will be responsible for test match preparation. Uh, okay. I'll still be... I'll... This is uh, uh, Rusty Erasmus. I'll still be responsible for the strategy and results with Jacques taking operational control. So yes, it's uh, it's uh, has anything really changed? Uh, I don't know. I, I think it'll give. Uh, I think Rusty Rasmus is a, is a really he's a good thinker. He's got a really good rugby brain. He's got super high uh, rugby RP, and uh, I think if it just gives him the freedom not to actually worry about the day to day coaching of the the thing uh, of the players, he can really start getting into uh, looking at opposition. Uh, looking at uh, player selection, uh, really getting involved more with the, the franchises to obviously try to bring these players in. So yeah, I think uh, as, a, as, as a director of rugby, that's perfect. I think Jacques Nibar, obviously as the defensive coach coming in, uh, I, the, only, the problem with, I think why they've done it, is Jacques has never really, he's never really been a head coach uh, of any side. Uh, so you're going to have to have uh, the director of rugby there to, to, to be that part. Okay, so uh, Manzi's stick. I think he's responsible for. Uh, I think it's, it's core skills, if I'm not mistaken. I think he does a really, really good job at that. Uh, very, very good job at that. Uh, assistant coach, uh, rear pointers for Felix Jones, Dion Davids. Uh, I don't know. I, I've, I'm not really a big fan of Dion Davids, but you know we've got to trust in and. Uh, Rossi Erasmus is playing for, for South Africa and there must be a reason why he's there. Uh, and then Don Heman will be the obviously taking over from uh, Matthew Proudfoot, who's obviously gone to England. Uh, I don't know, he's still going to be spending most of his time with the Bulls. Great, so that's great for, for the Bulls. And obviously he's just come in as a consultant more uh, when we start playing rugby championship and, and things like that. So yeah, guys, that's the that's the new structure for for South African rugby. I don't know why it was it took so long to actually come up with this uh, this plan because uh, I think it's a it's a fairly uh, decent uh, coaching uh, platform. But Rusty Rasmus, the brain, uh, uh, Jock Niwaba taking 
control of, of the coaching of the guys with defence. Uh, Felix Jones obviously making sure that we are European-based players are well coached and maybe have groups with them. Uh, Dean Davids, I've got a feeling he's more there for attack, but we'll see. Maybe it's also as another assistant. Uh, and then Don Heman as the uh, as the scrum coach. I, I don't know if I, I did say much as on uh, as as uh, core skills and and things like it. But yeah, guys. Please put your comments down below what you think of the, the new structure. I, I think it's pretty good. Uh, I've got, I've got no, absolutely no problem with it. Uh, but the proof is in the winning. You know, at the end of the day, last year was last year. This is, new, this, is this year. And, you know, the, the goal is to win the rugby championship again. Uh, we, we only we won it on a, on, a, on a smaller scale. So it was only three games that we had. We need to win it in a home and away where we actually win the, the, with the six games. I think New Zealand are still by far the, the the benchmark that we should be trying to emulate as much as we can, but we've got to do it our way. You know, I, I find with New Zealand, you know, they have a completely different way of playing rugby that we do, uh, and so they need to focus on their, their core skills. So, you know, for the last couple of years, we've all been we've had coaches that have really tried to emulate uh, what's happening in New Zealand. Uh, with their player structures and how the way that they play, try and play this expansive game. And, and sorry, guys, we just we just not that kind of a rugby nation. And here yeah, we have some incredible backs. Uh, let's be honest. But uh, you know, we, we play we play from set piece. We we make our opportunities. We're a great defensive side now, and that's how we play. Uh, so yeah, it's it's just good that we actually are following our own our own advice for a change. Uh, we focusing on what we're good at uh, and really not looking outside of ourselves to try to figure out what the solutions are for South African rugby because there, there are there's a hell of a lot more issues that with South African rugby and I still think transformation is a, is, a, is a little bit lacking especially at the super rugby, at a super rugby level so there's a lot of things that still have to happen to obviously make it a lot more accessible to, to everyone in this country but listen guys I don't want to carry on waffling on I probably have waffled on for quite some time but yeah Super happy this weekend. Uh, Six Nations coming up next week. Can't wait for the, the start of international rugby again and super rugby. Listen, guys, have a great weekend. Chat soon. Cheers.